hello guys <laughs> nigerians are saying showare is the man of the year you know uh, dss nigerian government they talk say they go arrest them if he dare enter nigeria you understand they say they go arrest them this is and that now he can't tell them see he go enter nigeria because he did nothing wrong you understand so this man today surprisingly he entered nigeria uh now uh, immigration called Diliam, the keeper for DSS made them call arrest. So DSS arrested Shoare at the Lagos airport on arrival from US over the NBAD uh, governance protest. You understand? In fact, Shoare disgraced the Nigerian government. When I say last last, they can't see release them. You cannot just hold somebody because you you feel the person is, I don't know how to put them, whether the person, they, they like or they give you a uh, heat because of your policies and all that. The question is, what is this person doing? What is telling you? Is he saying the right thing? You think arresting people like this will end it. So instead of this government to look for how to solve the problem of ground, they are looking for protesters who are protesting. They are looking for protesters who are organizing protests and all that to arrest. And they don't want to look into the issue on ground. People are saying something. They are not drunk. You understand? They are not drunk. So they know what they are saying. Nigerians are hungry. But the government do not want to hear this. But today, hmm, they were all disgraced because it was like, wow, Nigerians true part, you know, uh, to welcome Shoari, even when he was arrested, Nigerians were all there. You understand? They hail him because he said he's coming back. And actually, he came back. The Department of State Service, DSS, arrested the convener of a revolution now movement, Omoyele Shoari, at the Motala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos State. Shoari was arrested at the airport on Sunday, immediately upon his arrival in Nigeria. So Sahara reporters earlier on Sunday reported that members of the Take It Back movement and other activists had besieged the airport to await the activists' return to the country. Shoare had been with, the, with his family in the United States. His flight left the, his flight left the Washington uh, Dollars International Airport at uh, C14 EDT and arrived in Lagos at around 943 uh, WAT. On Thursday, September 12, 2024, Sahara, uh, Sahara reporters exclusively reported that a DSS memo ordering the arrest of the convener of uh, uh, the convener of um, Revolution Now, okay. Uh, Showare upon his arrival in Nigeria had leaked. Okay, so following the report, Showare lambasted the DSS for issuing a directive for his arrest on his arrival in Nigeria, disclosing that his intention was to return to the country very soon. In a post on his ex account on Thursday, Showare said, The current administration, led by President, uh, President Bola Metinubu, has demonstrated an upgraded inability to effectively track and apprehend terrorism suspects, the bandits and kidnappers, while the official EFCC has yet to arrest the former Kogi state governor, Yaya Bello. Meanwhile, the lawless DSS of Nigeria has upgraded my, my status and name on their watch list for arrest upon arrival in Nigeria. It is imperative to recognize that our country, Nigeria, requires salvation and our people need liberation. We, which we, which we necess necessitate considerable effort, I attend to return home shortly, I mean very soon, he said. Earlier in September, Sahara reporters re re reported that Nigerian secret police, DSS, had instructed air, uh, airport security and immigration authorities to intercept and detain Shoare upon his arrival in Nigeria. 
So it was learned that the directive issued by the newly appointed DSS Director General Adeola Ajayi uh, stemmed from Shoarezu in the recent 10 day and bad governance protest. So you see, eventually he was arrested today, but it was, you know, a very big shame and disgrace, you understand, to Nigeria government. It was a very big shame. Well, they arrested him, but also this at the same time, he has been released as well. They arrested him. They delayed him for some, like, hours. So they have uh, released him. So what is the need of all these things? What is the need? This is a kind of embarrassing to our country, the way our government is going. Shawari is not the problem of Nigeria, but they are. These people are just trying to let you know the way you are going about things is not the way. You understand? You need to do things in the way it's supposed to be. Then going after people who is saying, no, 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 we have to change the ways and manner how we do things, going after them, then leaving the real problems we have in Nigeria is is not making sense. It's not making sense. Just like what he said, you want to arrest me? Have you arrested the former Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello? That you people say he did on our watch list things. We we'll never arrest him till today. So are they telling us now? That Yabelo is missing or what? So Yabelo is he cannot be found again anywhere. He's no longer on this planet X. I will make a drop out for you here, my people. Like what I, I said, Shawari has shown that he is a man of his word. He dared before the government of Nigeria. And he came to he came down to Nigeria. At least letting them know that he did not I am not a problem. Face the problem on ground. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give a Thank <laughs> you. 